welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm going to be reacting to Paris's new album, Use Me. As you can see, I have my Paris shirt. I came prepared today. I have been waiting for a very long time for this album because as you guys know, it has moved its album release about twice, maybe three times. But now we are here. I am pretty, finally. But before this video starts, like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Let's go. Track one. Give me a minute. Oh, girl, give me a minute. As, what a way to start off this album. Just the, even the sound effect. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Why, Lynn? Give me a I love even after like the first chorus, that beat comes in and it like it's even worse. <laughs> Can we talk about how Lynn has this growl in her voice? Like, I have always known that she could, like, growl or scream a little bit, but, like, she is really infusing her voice where it needs to be infused now. <laughs> Delicious. Give me more. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Give me a minute. No, good. And then this part happens, and I. <laughs> if they are touring someday, <laughs> I am both by there for it. <laughs> I love how it's I feel like it's talking a little bit about self-destruction and maybe everything's just kind of overwhelming I'm losing my mind and she's like give me a minute because if I if I deal with it right now I may lose it which is kind of the way everybody kind of feels sometimes is like you need that minute to really compose of yourself and actually think about the consequences of your actions or if you say something, or if you don't say something. So, I love this track as an opener. I think it's very, very good. It definitely, I feel like it sets a tone for this album. And I'm excited to see what else is there. Um, track two, Deadweight, one of my favorites. <laughs> we'll briefly go through this, briefly. <laughs> That beginning kills me every single time. Look what you've started, Paris. Look what you've started. I will never forget in the music video when her eyeball rolled back in her head. I was like, oh. Give me a minute. <laughs> this whole entire album, just give me a minute. Dead Weight is such a good single. I think it definitely captivated what they wanted this album to sound like. I definitely like the synths in there a little bit. <sighs> oh, that song is just a, a, a one to play in your car and you guys are all like moving the vehicle with your bodies. I'm not even kidding. It's so freaking good. <sighs> <sighs> Um, I'm still kind of confused on the album. Maybe I'll get more into it with the other singles. But Use Me. For what? But first two tracks, Heart It. We love it. Track three, Stay Gold. I'm kind of... Mm, I wish Nightmare was on this, but I'll take what I can get. Let's just be honest here. I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, oh, 
the production is building and like ah uh, I wasn't really impressed with the song when it started but this build up is delicious <laughs> first listen I'm not really a fan of this and it's probably because the first two tracks were so loud Lynn's voice is gorgeous on this the production is really really nice and I definitely feel like grooving with it but I definitely feel like I'm gonna need some time with this um, definitely a headphone kind of song I'm gonna dance around my room kind of song I, I just can't do that now. Listen, I feel like I'm going to have to sit with that song a little bit longer. It's not a bad song. And Lynn's vocals are gorgeous on it. I just don't feel it right now. I'm still gonna heart it. Um, but I don't, it's not, it's not like Give Me a Minute in Dead Weight where it was so powerful and I really like when they have songs like that. This is a, a easy moving kind of gloomy song that you could like dance too alone and think i definitely like the message of it stay gold um i wish i could stay in this moment i wish i could capture this moment and keep it forever um are but is it going to stay gold forever who knows i definitely like the meanings of the song i don't know if i like the song Ooh. i really like this i like this a lot Mm. What? Did I get that lyric right? What? Now I gotta look it up. Yeah, it feels good to be alive, but I hate my life. What? Isn't that so sad how we relate to the darkest lyrics? Because we feel it inside of ourselves it's just we don't say it out loud me <laughs> uh what is it the chorus so tired and tired of the self-inflicted fight in spite of i light up to lift my demons i tell myself i'm fine while i'm looking for a sign is this body even mine feels good to be alive i hate my life perfection perfection just the way I, is this body even mine ah use me that might be my favorite new song i'm not even kidding gonna find their way to leave ah! I feel attacked um why are you writing about me um pick on somebody else please go she said shaking needles up my spine but the doctor says I'm fine Ooh. That's my song. Heart it. That, that's what I expect. If Paris is going to slow it down, I love songs like that. The lyricism, on point. Production, on point. Lynn's voice on this track is gorgeous but i love the contradiction because somebody's going to pick this song if you literally looked at this album and was like "Ooh, good to be live that's going to be a very positive song for me and it's like good to be alive but i hate my life 
I love the contradiction there. I love it. Love it. Uh, track five, Death of Me. Um, I already listened to track five and track six, so we're and track seven. So we're all we're gonna briefly go through these ones, and then we're going to go do Loveless. This stuff looks like Certified Bob. Loved it then, loved it now. <gasps> yes. Uh, I also wonder if this is different forms of using someone. Track six <laughs> Hallucinations, a song we have heard in the song I love. Me almost tipping back in my chair. Feel that so hard. The guitar in this is so good. <sighs> Still a bop. Still a certified bop. Bob Hartman. Let's go to the next track, shall we? Track seven, Old Wounds. Now, if you saw my first reaction <laughs> for the Hallucination EP, I did not personally like that track. They came out with a music video for it. <laughs> I want a nightmare to have a music video, but you know, what, 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 whatever. <laughs> what do I know? But I'm, I'm going to re-listen to this track and see if I actually really like it. Let's see. first time I listened to the song the change up really bothered me because it was so emotional in the beginning and then the change up but that's just the Paris sound um I I also think I got really bored with the lyrics of old wounds because I heard it so many times and I was over it so let me keep listening I, I'm not bored with this one um I think I was just in, maybe in a different state of mind when I first listened to that change up to the songs maybe that's why I was irritated with the song itself was because I didn't feel like there was enough change ups um but Lynn's voice is lovely on this track of how she can go very very high in her voice and how she can just go just sing naturally I love the change ups <laughs> admit that it's not my favorite track still and I think I figured out what, what I remembered why I didn't like it it was because it was so freaking long I don't understand why they couldn't make it like a little shorter that's just my opinion um, I'm sure a lot of people like the songs I do love this change-ups from like the original of how she said old wounds to how it grew into something bigger um i definitely love that concept of the song that like because a wound grows bigger it festers and it grows but it's not my favorite song still <laughs> i don't know why but it, it's just not it's just yeah. it's not getting hard for me still <sighs> track eight loveless Ooh, a new song who this <laughs> was i just a target 
Ooh, was I just a target? Use me. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Tie it back into the, yes. <laughs> songs like this and I feel like they should just be in movies um again uh loveless if this isn't what love is I guess I'm loveless oof 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 gorgeous on this track um production wise i love how clean it was just the guitar love it um <clears throat> like i can't i can't i love how the song really blossomed in the end you felt like this person's pain of if, if this is what you call love that i guess i'm loveless and i think it resonates with a lot of people who are in relationships now just to be in relationships it's very very sad and that's not what love is supposed to look like <laughs> Like, I just got rained on. I love when tracks do that to me. I love that sound. just made me comfortable you ever just listen to a song and it makes you like so in tune with yourself and you just feel like relaxed that's that song oh man oh I just yes use me 070 shake never heard of 070 shake who are you am I gonna like you please don't ruin this album <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Oh my god. When she said, and you. Hmm. 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 used to their voices together give me a minute no pun intended but like yeah I need a minute <laughs> I think I may need to go back and re-listen to their parts together, excuse me.
you don't like the song. Listen, this is, I expected a lot more from this track just because it's the title of the album. I loved when Lynn was singing it, but I feel like the use me could have been a little darker. Because you're talking about somebody who's, you know, you shouldn't be alone. You should use me. You shouldn't go home alone. You shouldn't use me. I feel like that needs to be a little darker. 070 Shake wasn't that bad, but I feel like their voices didn't really connect all that much on the chorus. I feel like Lynn could have did this entire song and it would have been fine. I'm wondering why the feature was there. Was it somebody she admired? It reminded me of when I listened to 100 Gets and they had Injury Reserve over that beat. That beat was the, it, it didn't really mesh well, but Injury Reserve did their thing. 070 Shake, I'm not sure if they did their thing and if this was the song for them. That's my thing. It's not getting hard. Oof. Oof. They're so good at this of creating a like a bridge in the song that is just like you're drifting or you're just <sighs> They do it on death of me too. I'm like oh <laughs> Now let me go back and listen to Nightmare for a minute. I wonder if it's going to be really good place for Nightmare. Because you're telling somebody basically I wish you well and basically to F off. Because they used you. I just wanna I just wanna listen to see if Nightmare would fit right there. <laughs> wish You Well was a cute track to end on. Yay. But I wish they would have put Nightmare on there because it's like Okay, the person used you. You allowed them to use you. Now you wish them well. Now you're like, I'm your nightmare. I wish there was some kind of rise from the ashes and something like that. I don't I'm just trying to put Nightmare on the album, okay? That's all I wanted. <laughs> Final thoughts on this album. Um, there's only two songs that I didn't like. Old Wounds and Use Me. Why this is not getting praise from me is because most of these songs were released already. Give me a minute. Dead Weight, Death of Me, Hallucinations, Old Wounds. That's about half the album right there that has already been released. And granted, they had to go through a lot to actually release this album. I get it, I got it. Um, I just expected a little bit more. We'll go through the new tracks. Stay Gold, I think that has to sit with me a little bit more. I definitely love the chorus of the song, but it definitely is gonna have to sit with me. Um, good to be alive. Love it. Love, 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 love. Old Wounds, I would have scrapped. <laughs> like, I love the song, but uh, the thing is, the length of it, I would have cut shorter. I wish they would have done that just because it has a, 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 a build up there that will leave listeners, unless you're a big Paris fan, you're not gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? So, I would have. But that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people love Old Wound. Love Less, I love. January Rain, mm, delicious. Wish You Well is a cute song. 
I am keeping it just because I feel like if I was on my pa Pandora or Spotify shuffle, I would still listen to it. But is it my favorite? No. Should I think they should have closed the album out with it? No. I was very underwhelmed about Use Me. I feel like that should have been a pivotal moment of this album just because it is the title track. Um, and it wasn't really that impressive to me. But out of all this, uh, nine songs out of the album I'm keeping, so that's still pretty good. It's not horrible, but still, I feel like this project could have been better. And a lot of the songs have been previously released, which I feel is okay but I don't know if there should have been that many releases on the album because we've already heard half the album. I don't think there was much surprise in the, there. It's, it's not a bad body of work, it's not. But let me know down in the comment section, do you feel the same? Am I wrong? Let a point a girl out, call a girl out, it's fine. Um, I'm not bothered by it. But I feel like you me could have been better, <laughs> oh man. But if you have a different opinion, let a girl know down below in the comment section. I will also put their links down in my um, description and their follows on social media so you can go follow them. Um, strong effort, but this, not my favorite. And it's really sad because all Paris's previous albums I have really, really liked. Maybe it's because this is the first time I'm actually sitting through an album release of theirs and have heard the songs because maybe I, I kind of screwed myself by listening to the singles. Hey, we live in the Learn. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>